Hello, BTCB candidates. This is Zita Schmidt bringing you another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. This time it will be on pediatric doses and specifically we will be covering Clark's Rule. There are three formulas you need to memorize. They are divided into two groups based on the results that the formulas give. So they give you the per dose or the dose per day. Per dose, the answer you get is in per dose, as in how many milligrams per dose, how many milligrams every time you take it. Dose per day, the answer you get is in per day, as in how many milligrams per day, total amount in the day. What does per dose and per day mean? Per dose, the amount you take each time you take it. For example, when you take one acetaminophen 500 milligram tablet for a headache, you are taking one tablet per dose, which is 500 milligrams per dose. In other words, you take and swallow one tablet, which is one dose, then wait four hours before taking another tablet, another dose. Dose per day, the amount you take in a day. In other words, it is the total amount of doses you take in a day. For example, when you take one acetaminophen 500 milligram tablet QID for fever, you are taking a total of one tablet four times a day. That is one times four equals four tablets. Four tablets times 500 milligrams is equal to 2000 milligrams per day. Can you see the difference? Good, that's very important. So these are the two groups with the formulas that you will need to calculate pediatric doses. In the first group, which is the per dose, you have Young's rule and Clark's rule. Both of these formulas give you the per dose. Under per day, it's the milligram per kilogram per day formula, and that formula gives you the total milligrams per day. Clark's rule. To help me remember this formula, I think of Clark Kent and Superman. Superman is strong and can lift weights. This triggers in my mind the memory that the formula requires the weight of the child in pounds. The formula is weight of the child divided by 150 times the average adult dose. This will give you the per dose. So here's a practice problem. The average adult dose of amoxicillin is 500 milligrams every eight hours. The child weighs 26 pounds and is 18 months old. How many milligrams per dose are needed? Use Clark's rule to solve this problem. Step one, what information were you given? Well, looking at the problem, they gave you the average adult dose equals to 500 milligrams every eight hours, age of the child, which is equal to 18 months, weight of the child, which is equal to 26 pounds. What are you looking for? You are looking for how many milligrams per dose are needed. That's what the question you received in the problem. And you were told to use Clark's rule. Step one continued. Based on what you were given, what you are looking for and that you were told to use Clark's rule, you do not need the age of the child. So all you need is the average adult dose, which is equals to 500 milligrams every eight hours, and the weight of the child, which in this case is 26 pounds. Step two, write out the formula and plug in the values. The formula is weight of child divided by 150, times the average adult dose. When you plug in the values, you get 26 divided by 150 times 500 is equal to 86.66. When solving problems with Clark's rule, you may have to convert kilograms to pounds. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Step three, answer the question. You need 86.66 milligrams per dose. 
In the exam, you will have to choose the best answer from the multiple choice answers they are giving you. Most likely, you will round up. So the answers could be 86.66 milligrams or 86.7 milligrams or 87 milligrams. So there you have it. Uh, this is one of the three pediatric dose formulas that you will need to know for your exam. I hope that this is helpful. And if you like my video, please rate it. Also, um, it would be nice if you were to subscribe to my channel. This way you will continue to receive all the tutorials that I am posting and I plan on continuing to post. And I hope to see you soon and I hope that this is really helpful for you. Have a good one.